I'm Private Ripplinger. I'm Private Stoppers. And we're going to go over the 800 GPM pump today. So first off, we're going to make sure that we have our PPE. We have our five things of safety, which is our fire extinguisher, our no smoking sign within 50 feet. We are grounded and bonded. We have our drip pan, and we have a five gallon water jug within the vicinity. We also don't want to operate this during an electrical storm. Yep, don't forget that. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and jump into our before PMCS. So we're going to do our 360 around the pump. We're going to check everything, make sure that our engine is looking good, everything in our engine bay looks good. Then we're going to make sure our engine doors are closed. Then we're going to come on over this way. And we're going to start on this other side of the pump. So first we're going to make sure that we open our suction pressure valve, which is right there. We're going to open our discharge pressure valve. Then we're going to come down here and open this valve so that it points to tank unit, which is in the correct position like that. Then we're going to open our fuel return valve, so that it is in line with that line right there. Then we're going to come around this way. Once we get over here, we're going to open our pressure switch valve. We're going to open our suction um, transducer valve, our discharge transducer valve. And then at this point, we're going to open our bottom two vent valves here. And so you will open those and wait until fuel comes out of that line. So you're releasing all the air and then fuel comes out, which you'll have a drip pan down there to catch the fuel. And then you will close these two bottom vent valves. You will do the same for the upper two vent valves. Open them, release the air out until fuel comes out. And once fuel comes out, then you're good to close those vent valves. And then also there will be a suction valve that's right here. It's not connected. But you will open the suction valve at this point. And you will ensure that the discharge valve that is on the other side is closed during your before PMCS, which it is not here either, but it will come off right there and be a valve right here. All right, so then we're gonna come back over to this side. We've, we're gonna continue our before PMCS. We're gonna go ahead and open our control panel. We're gonna open this panel for our gauges here. So when we're gonna check all of our gauges, make sure that our gauges look good, there's no damage there, and we will jump into um, our startup operations for the pump. So we're going to ensure that our throttle is turned all the way down. We're going to make sure that our mode control is set on manual. And at this point, we're going to push in our stop button because when you push it in on this pump, that means that you are ready to go. It is turned, the power is turned on. We're going to make sure that our clutch is disengaged, which is in the down position. We're going to turn on our power. And we're going to turn on our lights. You can adjust the lights here for the brightness. And then we're going to test, push this to test the malfunction lights. Make sure that they're all working in case a function does happen. And so if those all light up, you're good to go. And then at this point, we're going to go ahead and push in the engine start button. And once the pump starts up, we're going to throttle to 8 to 1000 RPM on the tachometer, which is right there. Um, and you're going to warm up until your engine temperature reads 120 degrees, in between 120 and 210 degrees. All right, and so once we've done our warm up, we're above 120 degrees, we can go ahead and turn on our, engage our clutch, which goes into the up position. We can open our discharge valve, which is on the other side. It's not there, but if it's there, we would open it. And then, so once we're warmed up, we've done those things, we're ready to go. We can go ahead and switch our mode control here to auto. And then we can turn our throttle up to a, whatever desired discharge pressure um, that is desired. Let's say 600. So then you would throttle up till you get to 600 right here on your discharge pressure. Because auto runs by discharge pressure and manual runs by your engine RPM on the tech off. All right, so now we're good to do operations. We're at operation speed. So we're gonna go ahead and conduct our operations. Um, and while doing so, we'll conduct G-Love. We'll check our gauges, make sure they're all reading right with our pressure on these. Make sure that that is not below 30 PSI on the suction side. Otherwise, 
Correct. So you need at least 30 there to make sure you have enough pressure going. Um, and then once you're done with operations, you've done your G-Love, you check your gauges, you check for leaks, unusual sounds and vibrations, you're good to go. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and start our shutdown procedures since we're done with operations. So we're going to turn this back to manual. So we're running off of RPM. So then we're going to turn our RPM back down to 8 to or all the way down, excuse me, we turn it all the way down um, and we go ahead and let the pump cool down for one minute and while we're doing so we can go ahead and disengage the clutch, push it back to the down position, you can close your discharge valve, close your suction valve um, and that should take up your one minute of cooling down. So once it is cooled down you can go ahead and pull out your stop so that the pump will stop. You can turn your power off, turn your lights off, um, and then you can go ahead and close your control panel door and close your gauge door. And then at this point, you're gonna go ahead and conduct your after PMCS. So you can go ahead and close all of the valves that we closed in the before PMCS. So once you've closed all those, you've checked all the parts of the pump, make sure there's no damages to your G-Love. And if you do find any damages, you're going to annotate them on your DA form 2404 or your DA form 5988. And when would you use this right here? For your cold start, that would be um, if you're under 28 degrees, you're going to use, go ahead and use this. Okay.